Day three of everything I eat in a day. This is the 30 day vegan challenge. Um, are you with it? Are you with it? You know, don't sit on the sidelines, get amongst it, you know, get in here and do it with me, right? Get in here and just eat vegan for 30 days. If, you, if you've got a YouTube channel or set up a YouTube channel and vlog it, you know, get a YouTube channel going. It's a good thing to do, right? Uh, so I've just drank uh, this morning so far roughly two liters of water, two liters of water um, so far this morning. Um, and now I'm getting my OJ into me. I always start with fluids, put a few liters of fluids in from fruit juice to uh, vegetable juice. This is, a <coughs> oh, this is a friend of mine does this. This is a freshly squeezed juice. He uh, juices this and then he freezes it up and uh, he's in the middle of setting up a business right now to uh, like a mail order, mail order frozen juices. So it's freshly squeezed organic and um, that's green juice there. And uh, these are his prototypes. So I test them out for him. Uh, pretty good. So this, I'm just, I'm just defrosting this. So this is my next thing I'm going to have after I finish my OJ. All right, main breakfast of the morning is going to consist of uh, everything blended, bananas, figs, fresh figs, blueberries, raspberries. So the bananas, how do you know when the bananas are ripe? Well, generally brown spots, these bananas are on the cusp. You see some green in there, there's some brown spots, you know, are they not ripe? So just by looking, you can't always tell. Sometimes a banana is ripe, but it doesn't look ripe. And um, so you, you test by testing the softness of it. These are pretty soft. You test by breaking it. If there's no sign, see the way it just breaks there easily and just peels easy. You know, like if it just breaks like that then it's starting to get to a good stage of ripeness. If it starts to bend and everything and it's not breaking, then it's not, uh, not ripe. So you see that banana, there's a little bit of green on it, but it will just break very easy and it's very, very, very soft. So especially in the hot temperatures right now, sometimes bananas ripen um, before they look like they're ripe. So you're also gonna take not just looking at it, but also how it feels as well. Now that will keep me going half the day that will. Mm. And it tastes absolutely divine. Click like if you love coffee. That's my soy, soy latte. Five different coffee beans mixed together. Best coffee ever. Just arrived home there from uh, being out at a few appointments. Uh, so right now, I'm, my stomach, I need some food. So straight away, bananas. Like I said earlier on, you know, that, that's just sort of ideal looking sort of banana there. When you got the brown spots on it, it's nice and yellow. But uh, these ones here, they, they look like they're not quite as, as ripe enough, but actually they are. Because inside, because it's so warm here, they're, they're really soft. You can put your little finger all the, way, all the way through that. So you can see how soft they are and how easily they they break. That's how you want to have bananas. They need to be at least that there. Another, you know, 12 hours, they'd be perfect, but right now they're good. <clears throat> so nine bananas here. Nine bananas, decent meal. I haven't got much time. I'm going to be at another appointment shortly. So this is just a quick, quick lunch. Just straight mono meal of bananas. If you've got any questions, you want me to talk about in the next video, just put them in the comments box. If you have any comments or criticisms of what I'm doing, questions, questions or criticisms, you're welcome to uh, place them in the comments now.
So that's just a quick meal. Have that made in three minutes from start to finish. Down the hatch in another five, six minutes, and uh, then it can be out the door again, you know? And that is your ideal fast food. I won't, I won't be too heavy. I could, I could stack it right up there and have a really big meal, but I want to be quite light for uh, what I've got happening the rest of the day. It's like being at Oktoberfest or something, you know, but you have bananas. Hmm. It's really good. Hmm. You know, when I, when I first heard about people eating a lot of bananas, I thought, that's crazy shit, man, you know, that's crazy. All those bananas people are eating. And then I started it, and I thought, how do they eat so many bananas? I was putting, like, eight bananas into a blender and trying to, trying to drink them. And what I was doing wrong was my bananas weren't ripe. That's where I was going wrong. You try and eat unripe bananas, your digestive system just, just close up. It's like, I don't want this stuff, you know. You eat ripe bananas, your digestive system opens and welcomes them. Hmm. I've eaten up to 41 bananas in a day. And felt really good at the end of it. Really good. I actually once did a 30 day challenge of eating bananas for 30 days. And all I ate was bananas, nothing else for 30 days. There's, there's a whole video um, series about it. You can look back a couple of years ago. Hmm. Just in the door after, I've been out about all afternoon, so it's early evening now, and I am really hungry. So I've just uh, looked in the fridge and there's some leftover rice. And so I just took that out, heated it up with some coconut milk, uh, some sesame seeds in there, a little, little bit of soy sauce. So I'm just gonna chow down on that just to fill the hole until I uh, get some dinner in, uh, you know, an hour or so. My evening meal is a stir fry, veg stir fry. Uh, this rice, sesame seeds, broccoli, cauliflower, mushrooms, carrots, and uh, that is with a, a ginger uh, flavor through it as well. So that's uh, and a bit, a bit of soy sauce as well. Um, so like I'll, I'll eat at least this now, maybe another one, another bowl this size, and then I'm gonna do a workout, and then I'll have another bowl of this afterwards. So I'll, I'll probably have three bowls of this, uh, this this evening. One now, workout, then maybe two afterwards, and that'll be me for the evening. And I'm washing that down with some organic soy and rice milk. Um, and yeah, I, I go through quite a lot of that. I'm, I'm addicted to it, I might go through uh, a liter of that a day so a lot of a lot of fluids you know throughout the day I'm drinking um, you know at least at least three liters of water per day then the juices on top then the smoothies which contain water as well uh, so yeah you're, we're looking at probably five liters at least I would say of liquids that I would take in every day so I take in a lot of fluids a lot of liquids and then on top of that the fruit the the rice and the veg, you know, that's my sort of my staples, you know. That's us for day three. Don't think I'm gonna make any more. Like I said, that's what I'm gonna eat. Another two bowls of that, and that's me. Okay, let me know what you're eating. What are you eating today? Well, what's your food today? Are you doing the 30 day challenge with me as well? Uh, if not, why not? You know, if you if you record everything you eat, it, you'll, it'll create this awareness around food that you didn't have before. And uh, it, what it does is it puts, you, puts your attention on it and it makes you eat better, it makes you eat healthier when you do it. Um, because quite often we eat unconsciously, we don't even realize. A lot of people are unconscious eaters, don't even realize what they're eating. You see them go into a zone and they start eating and they just go into this like zone and then they walk to the fridge like a zombie and they open the fridge and they take more, right? They get stuff from the cupboards and they sit down. And that's before they've had the joint, you know? So uh, become a conscious eater. Eat consciously. That's how you'll improve your food choices and that's how you'll eat in moderation and not eat to excess. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, 
leave us a comment, ask me a question, leave me a criticism, whatever you want to do. I'll see you again tomorrow. Last meal of the day, corn, rice, mix of a bit of lace of coconut milk and soy sauce with some rocket on top. Good night.